Hello guys, good morning and welcome to the first review of this brand new series from LEGO which is the Hobbit The Unexpected Journey. The first set, set we are reviewing today is set number 79001 Escape from Mirkwood Spires. It's one of the smallest set of this collection and it has 298 pieces and it sold for 24.99 pounds which means a ratio for piece of 0 0.08 and honestly it is the cheapest one of all the sets of this new series but let's go and have a look at it here it is this set is basically representing the part of the films in which uh, the dwarves are uh, imprisoned by these uh, big spiders and then they are uh, they were saved by the elves. The set is composed by two Mirkwood spiders, four minifigs, two dwarves and two elves and we will look at them soon and two uh, representation of uh, small trees uh, characterized by red and black uh, colors as you can see so it's a it's a quite dark set which uh, uh, is uh, uh, in my opinion well represented but let's have a look at the minifix and then as a at the close out of, of these sets the first two mini fix are the two dwarves and Philly and Kili to be precise. As you can see the dwarves are the special mini fix in this new brand series and they are very very well detailed as there are 13 of them and each of them is a, a particular, uh, particular in terms of the decoration of the torso, particular in terms of the decoration of the face and hair and also particulars in terms of the weapon used. This we have uh, Philly and Kili, one with the two knives. And you can see the, the details also of the hair that does not uh, fits perfectly with the arrows. And the other one which has which has who has the long the long hair and the long bow sorry and you can see very much details and each of them has a double face of course. The other two minifigs are two elves. There is on the right Tauriel, the female elf with these beautiful beautiful uh, knives very well decorated and also you see the hair and the face is very well decorated and the other is our famous Legolas green leaf which you have already seen but with a different uh, torso and legs in the sets of the Lord of the Rings and of course Legolas is equipped with his giant bow. As a close up as a, and as a, a told before this set is basically composed by two parts of the trees one big and one small we'll look at together look at them together and two Mirkwood spiders these two spiders are exactly identical so I'm going to show you one of them in details and uh, remember that the other is exactly the same. Well, this Mirkwood spider is uh, uh, practically, let me say, the smaller version of uh, the Shilob spider that you have in the set of Lord of the Rings Shilob attacks. Although small, it's pretty well uh, realized. This back is movable and also as always the legs are movable. The particular and good part of these spoilers is the front and in particular you see these uh, white pieces that represent the eyes of the spoiler. In the dark they glow. So this is a particular feature of, of these, uh, these spiders. Differently from Shelob, there is no mechanism in the back, so they cannot be hanging from the ceiling uh, or whatever. 
the small part of the tree honestly is nothing special it's uh, like a dead tree decorated with these uh, leaves uh, brown with the uh, skull bone to make uh, some impression of terror but uh, basically it's very easy to build and nothing special the only thing I like from it and from the other part that we are going to see is the combination of uh, red and of this particular red and black colors which makes uh, this uh, set uh, kind of unique here we are this is the main tree in which uh, uh, I like from the scene of the movie the poor dwarves are imprisoned by the web of the spiders and as you can see there is this representation very good of the web in which you can put the poor wolves and they are kinda like uh, imprisoned as you can see but uh, first of all I repeat that the, the good impression of of this tree is the combination of black and red colors and look at this the very beautiful the, the red leaves uh, of, of this uh, of this tree and uh, you cannot miss also this small uh, web with uh, the small spider coming down there is again a combination of uh, skulls and bones and spiders but I would uh, uh, highlight you these two pieces here there are the mushrooms and this white spider all the both of them the mushrooms and the spiders are like the eyes of the giant spider milkwood spiders so they glow into the dark and moreover this spider here there is a mechanism in the back here as you can see so if you push here the spider is going away so I make it a little bit too abruptly so also the poor dwarves is going down but anyway um, kind of good this uh, this part of the tree also in the back you see it's well built there is also some great there are also some gray pieces but uh, a good uh, a good impression on overall so as a final rating I would give to this set a 7 out of 10 seven negative aspects is that uh, it's uh, quite simple and especially the small tree as anticipated uh, is not uh, is nothing particular but on the other hand you have four minifigs two beautiful dwarves and two beautiful elves two spiders the glowing pieces the web ports here uh, in which you can play uh, imprisoning the dwarves or whatever and also the combination of red and black that the general aspects of this set uh, is quite good and don't remember as I say that beginning that it that is uh, that this set has the cheapest uh, ratio for piece uh, of the overall set so I would go I repeat uh, with a 7 out of 